Hello and welcome to Chopped Part 2. We are happy you are joining us here today uh, for our one and only competitor, uh, Tyler Poirier. She's going to be competing for the title of Chopped Champion. Uh, so with that, I'd like to bring her on set here. Welcome, welcome to the Hi. show, Tyler. Thanks uh, for having me. Are you excited to be here? I am, I am. I'm glad I didn't go first, so I know what to expect. Yes, yes, this is going to be, so it's an appetizer round. You're going to have 20 minutes on the clock to create an appetizer from uh, the four mystery ingredients in our in our basket, sponsored by Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. um, not actually sponsored, but uh, so with that, would you like to open your basket? Yes. I will turn it over to you. All righty, our first ingredient, making a comeback, honeycomb. We still have all that cereal to eat. <laughs> I have ground turkey. Uh, horseradish dilly beans, so I think pickled green beans from Minnesota. Uh, and a crowd favorite, Dijon mustard. All right, chef. So get that out of the way. You will have 20 minutes on the clock. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. Start the clock. Starts with the ground turkey. She's adding an egg. Hmm, okay. I'm thinking of going the, the turkey burger route. Turkey burger route, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll see. Yes, what is what is your plan for today? What are you what are you so, making for us? Um I'm thinking of doing turkey burgers and using the honeycomb as my breadcrumbs. Um what else? And then just putting the horseradish into the mayonnaise, the mustard into the mixture to give some more flavor because turkey burgers sometimes are dry and not flavorful. So what is your experience with turkey burgers in the past? Have, have you? Um, I've made turkey burgers several okay. times. Okay. So, can't say I, but I always do the actual forming of the patties and the spices and all that. All right, so the Ground honeycomb is going into the turkey meat, the ground turkey meat with the egg. Now she's adding a little salt. I will say the thing that stresses me out most about this is I'm very much a person who cleans as I cook, but with a time limit, you can't really do that. So yes. I'm not used to making this much of a mess in the kitchen. Salt, pepper, ground chili flakes. All right, now she goes for the dilly beans, the horseradish dilly beans. Trying them first. What do, what do they taste like? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> they are strong. Yeah. When you have a moment, you should probably try one. They're good. Oh, wow. Oh, hmm. Yeah. Oh, they are burning my fingers. Oh, wow. They are horse radishy. Hmm. There's gonna be an interesting addition into in the burgers, I mm -hmm. I, I think here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So my father is wondering uh, why you decided to create a burger for an appetizer. Well, they're gonna be more of like little sliders. Okay. So not a full burger, not okay. a full patty. They'll be little sliders. Oh my gosh, my fingers burn so much. Mm. 
are so acidic. <laughs> yeah. You gotta fight through the pain to be a chop champion. Just looking at the time here. We got 16 minutes left on the clock. So I'm just mixing up the burgers here. So far she's used all of the ingredients except for the Dijon. Asian-inspired turkey burger sliders yeah. with horseradish dilly beans and Dijon mustard. Is that is that the the full name of the dish? Yep. Basically, all right, all right. Well, I'm really trying to make sure all these ingredients shine. I mean, honeycomb doesn't have flavor to begin with, so that's probably why it's so good. Yeah, it's good. yeah. And lots of dilly beans. We got about half the jar well, of dilly know, beans going in. Like you you might get a no, I'm just just common, just you know, letting people know for our, yeah. and you know, okay. make sure we have plenty of dilly beans in those patties. Yes. I So as a reminder for everybody, you know, today's uh, meal will be judged on taste, uh, presentation, and how well Tyler transforms uh, her four mystery ingredients, uh, which were the uh, horseradish dilly beans, the uh, honeycomb, um, ground turkey meat, and gray poupon. Oh boy, we have, we have honeycomb everywhere. We got honeycomb everywhere. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm just always in a rush. So, you got to cook like a like a chop champion. Speaking of time, we got uh, 13 minutes left on the clock here. She's still mixing up the, the ground turkey, getting these all ready to go. Honeycomb crumbs. Yes. I'm wondering if the honeycomb will impart a, a slight sweetness to these. I, I am very intrigued here. Well, yeah. Breadcrumbs kind of yeah. sometimes taste like cardboard. So. All right, looks like Tyler is forming the slider patties here. They smell so good. <laughs> so for those of you that just joined us, Tyler is trying to take on the previous chopped champion from last week. Uh, her four mystery ingredients were horseradish dilly beans, Dijon mustard, honeycomb cereal, and drowned turkey. Drowned. Ground turkey, ground turkey. And she is making a, a dilly bean and turkey, dilly bean and uh, honeycomb sliders uh, with dilly beans in there. Um, going to be served on some uh, leftover pita and some, uh, it looks like she said she's going to use the, the, raw, or the red curry sauce as well. 
We got 11 minutes and 36 seconds left on the clock and the pan is starting to heat up as well as the competition. <laughs> Looks like she's already getting her plates out, already preparing for plating. This is, uh, this is good. Oh, go, Pita going into the oven. Yes, go, uh, going into the oven for, for a little warm up before they are turned into sliders here. All focus as she opens the red curry sauce. All focus. Having some struggle. Uh, the the uh, the pita is just on the rack. An oven is not turned on. Oh, it looks like we have. We have the red curry sauce going into the pot here. Sponsored by Trader Joe's. Mm. Mm. Good stuff, mm -hmm. good stuff. Oh, this is going to complement it. Really nice thing. All right, I'm, I'm excited for that, plus the horseradish. This is gonna be a so spicy please, meal. Uh, please, please, please. All right, our cooking utensils sponsored by OXO. Yeah. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Our kitchen is sponsored uh, it, by OXO. OXO and Trader Joe's are our, our two kitchen sponsors here today. All right, looks like we have the, the patties going into the pan. For those of you that just joined us, again, uh, Tyler's mystery ingredients were uh, honeycomb, horseradish dilly beans, ground turkey, and Dijon mustard. A little, a little too much oil. Yes, just refilled today. All right, we got nine minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock here. And the burgers are going into the pan. Burgers are in the pan. Or sliders, shall I say, sliders. Okay. All right, so Tyler, I'm, I will take this chance to ask you, what will you do with the $10,000 uh, if you do decide to, to win those $10,000? Ah. Because who doesn't love a little healthy competition? Um, right now, I'd really love to support all the local restaurants out here. It's been a trying time, as we all know, and I'd like to support them and go out for a nice dinner once this is all over. Um, so she's looking for a $10,000 dinner here tonight, folks. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be serving it. $10,000 Oh, yes, yes, $10,000 appetizer. And yes, Kelsey, it is honeycomb like the cereal. It is the honeycomb cereal making a, a cameo appearance from the tasting of all the cereals. Remember to uh, like and subscribe on YouTube uh, to, to see more content. All right. Not quite yet. We got eight minutes left on the clock here. Burgers are, are cooking in the pan. Looking for the meat thermometer, yes. Because mm -hmm. turkey is what, like 160, 165? Something like that. <laughs> Would you like to use a lifeline and ask the audience? No. no I'm just, I'm just <laughs> we can also do a 50 50, you know? <laughs> yeah, turkey is only one temperature. You, you can't have medium well turkey, especially if it's ground. Looks like the burgers are sizzling along nicely. Here's the, you know, money shot here. We have the cur curry sauce heating up. Ooh, I'm gonna get out of our contestants' way here. It does smell like ground turkey and dilly beans in here now. 
Well, she's, she's opening the Pepper Jack cheese once again from our local Trader Joe's. Again, it's just, it's a sort of somewhat encompassing everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued on how this uh, Thai sweet chili sauce, or not Thai, or the Thai curry sauce is going to uh, kind of mix with your, your fusion here, but it, I, am, I am intrigued. We're flipping the patties now. I'm going to put the eggs away if you're, if you're okay. done with those. Yep. <laughs> Was the first thing I did. I well, our audience has responded to your query on the uh, um, turkey, and it's 165. Oh. So, yes, that's one lifeline gone. Oh wait, this is this isn't who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> hey, I was close. Yeah. I'm sorry, we don't really eat a lot of turkey. Yeah, I think we. Did that yet. All right, we have just passed the five minute remaining mark. We're at 15 minutes into this competition. We have patties sizzling away here. We have some pita going into the it's oven, already in the oven. already in the oven. Sweet curry sauce heating up here. We got some chopped cheese, we have leftovers, and uh, a mess over here. Yes. Hey, this is yeah. Can you uh, remind our audience what you put into the patties oh, here so today? Oh, the patties have red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, Dijon, the dilly beans, an egg, and then honeycomb breadcrumbs. And they smell like dilly beans. All right, what are we at here? What's our what's our temperature? Oh, 151. Oh boy. Come on. We're getting close. We are getting close. We oh, have three minutes and 48 seconds remaining. Okay. Do not forget about the plating step. We're going for another flip on the burgers here. Lost a few dilly beans along the way. Hey, but that's why I cut plenty of extra. Yeah, we got plenty of extra. Oh boy, and we're going for some melted cheese. Melted cheese. All right, we got some pita bread in the broiler here. You have just passed the three minute remaining mark. So we are 17 minutes into this chopped challenge. Looks like the burgers are going into the oven for a final melt of the cheese. We'll see them again in two minutes, I would assume. There is something smoking on the stove. Oh boy. Hopefully the burner is off. Yes, okay, it's off. <laughs> All right. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. We got some, some sizzling burgers. We got some, some toasty pita. Ooh, looks like our Thai sauce is steaming. Two minutes, 13 seconds left. <laughs> Chef Tyler looks calm, but warm. Yes, <laughs> it is. How are you feeling? How are you feeling now about your about the, the whole situation you got going on here. Good, I, I don't know. I think since one of the benefits I had was that I could kind of combine all my ingredients right away. So I'm not worried about, oh, did I miss one or any of that. All 
right, we got some, some sliders ready for plating. She's going for the plating with one minute and 37 seconds remaining on the clock. Plating them away here. We got some sliders going into well, the pita. I know I forgot to judge you on your presentation, so I want to have a nicer presentation than your sausage and rice. Points are in. Sorry, it's too late now. No takes backsies on presentation scores. <laughs> Got some Thai curry sauce here. Oh boy, I'm in the way. Going into the burgers as well. Oh, need a big, bigger spoon. Coming in, coming in. You have 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds left on the clock. All right, 20 seconds left. 20 seconds remaining. Ooh, we got 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and that's it. It's all over. Okay. Stop. Alrighty. Now time for the judging. Okay, uh, you, you can uh, go look at those, and I'll clean this down. All down right. A bit. Uh, do you want to put this away too, yeah. at least? All right. So today we have some Thai chili um, sauce that is over these uh, turkey burgers made with honeycomb breadcrumbs. Uh, dilly beans, uh, and yeah, ground turkey, and Dijon mustard in there. Um, so these are gonna be good. Oh, inside of some, some pita pockets. We got melted pepper jack cheese on top of these as well. So we got a little bit of an Asian fusion here. Okay. All right, we are moving on to the judging round now. Chef, are you, are you ready? Um, give me a moment. All right. Again, normally I don't need No bandages like our pre previous yes, yes. contestant. Yes, I'm also not wearing the apron because I don't usually make a mess like this. So, yes. All right. alrighty. So looks good. Uh, yeah, ready, ready to dig in here. First of all, I have to say your presentation was great. A nice kind of presentation, you know, of, the, of them themselves and kind of see in there. A little bland, I would have appreciated a little more color. Everything's kind of the, the same color here. Um, taste, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. They are interesting, that, that is for sure. They are, I've never eaten anything like this before. That is, that is definitely true, but it is, it's a good, interesting. It's a, it's a fusion of kind of like American cheeseburger dumped in, like dunked in the Thai curry sauce. Um, and the pita makes a nice kind of soaking up of that. Yeah. Um, I just really appreciate the, the kind of back end burn of the, of the dilly beans. Uh, I can definitely taste the horseradish and a little bit of Dijon mustard there on the back end. Um, yeah, a little spicy there. Uh, good stuff though. So, and then your last points would be about transforming the ingredients. Well, chef, I'll have to say, definitely transformed um, the dilly beans. That was very useful in there. Um, definitely the, the Dijon mustard as well in there. Um, you know, you just kind of threw everything into one thing though. So, you know, I'm not really able to taste the honeycomb. That's, that's one thing that I think is kind of missing. I do appreciate the creativity for having it in there, but, um, 
yeah, not really able to the taste any of the honeycomb flavors is so overpowered by the dilly beans. Um, so overall, I, I would not chop you this round, uh, and I, I'd say I'd say good job. These are these are good little little sliders. So thank you. Well, and my one comment is honeycomb does not have much taste to begin with. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, I'm excited to also sit down and try the little sliders. So thank you all for joining us and we'll see you next time.